Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk briefly about using the Merge Material option as part of the InstaLOD tool in Character Creator 3 when you're exporting your character to FBX format. So often you'll want to use this when you want to, uh, you know, basically optimize your character for in-game use, optimize the use of materials, you can merge them into one as you get further away from your character uh, because you don't need the detail that you normally have when you, when you're, when you have a close-up view of your character. So for example, if we take a look at this video here, you can see we have high detail at the uh, level of detail 0. Level of detail 1, we have high texture resolution. Level of detail 2, you can reduce that resolution to a lower lower resolution. And finally, level 3, level of detail 3, you'll merge all those textures, all those materials into one single texture. And as you get to 4, 5, and 6, you can further reduce the resolution of that single texture so as to reduce the amount of resources that your character is drawing upon in your game engine. Okay, so basically the lower amount of materials, the uh, lower cost it's going to take to load your character in the game engine. In addition to that, the lower resolution of your texture images is going to take less resources as well. Okay, so let's take a look at our character in character creator here. You can see we have this uh, soldier dude. And if we go over here to our scene manager, you can see the various uh, parts of our character. We have the boots. And just take a look at the little icons there on the left of the character. We have shoes, clothing. These ones here are accessories, and that's just our character mesh, okay, the male character mesh. Uh, we can take a look at the uh, materials of the character as well. So if we go over here, you can see the boots. We have uh, our various texture maps as part of this single gladiator boots material. Uh, the skirt or the kilt or whatever it's called there. You can see here as well the different texture maps for that. Uh, armor, uh, the shoulder accessory, and the helmet, uh, the arm guard, and the parmula or shield I guess and this is our character right here so with our character our character will contain all of the uh, stuff like the skin for the head all these texture maps down here uh, the skin for the body so you can see quite a few texture maps or quite a few materials as part of a single character and our character of course will, will contain all these ones as well so the same uh, materials are all part of our character so the shoulder armor everything we, that we just looked at there okay so a lot of uh, a lot of materials a lot of uh, texture maps to boot there so in some cases you may want to reduce this amount especially if your camera is further away from your character and you don't need that detail you know scenes with lots of characters like an army of characters or a crowd of characters you definitely want to have uh, lower resources taken from your game engine uh, for those characters uh, in the distance such as crowds and stuff like that but when we do go to file export to fbx then we have an option over here to select insta lod at the very bottom, we're going to talk about Merge Material. We talk about remesher in a separate tutorial here. Okay, so Merge Material, we have three different options. We have All, By Type, or By Item. And we also have the option down here to choose the Bake Texture Size for each individual option as well. We can choose anywhere from 10K to 8K. All right, and there you go. So let's take a look at these three different options here. So what happens when we merge materials, uh, we merge all the materials into one single material, you can see it's taking all of these uh, different accessories, clothing items, and your character mesh, and the scene manager here, basically combining them all into one single uh, material. Now, you want to normally bake the texture size at least 4K here, because you're merging them all into one basic, one material, uh, which will separate into five separate texture maps. And you want a very high resolution for that, otherwise you're not going to be able to fit all the details you need into that uh, material. Okay, so when you merge them all, generally you want to keep a very high texture size, bake it to at least 4K. Now when we get to the type, you can see we have red, yellow, and green arrows there. The red arrows indicate the clothing, and the yellow ear, uh, arrows indicate the accessories, the green indicates the character mesh. Now there's four types of... Uh, Materials you can bake, the body, the clothing, and the hair is also a separate one as well, and the accessories. You can see here that what happens is all the clothing items are baked into one single texture map, and here we've chosen 2048, a 2K uh, texture size, and the yellow arrow points to all the accessories, and the green arrow to the character mesh there. Now if we go to buy item, you can see we reduce the texture size to 1024, and basically it'll just uh, bake individual materials for every individual item on your character. So the centurion boots, the, the skirt, uh, the separate armor pieces, and the accessories all have their separate texture maps. 
Now let's take a look at the folder structure. So here you can see I've uh, I've already exported three separate FBX files. We have Warrior All, and that's for 4096. Okay, so All means we've uh, combined all the materials into one. And by item and by type, you can see the various uh, re uh, image resolution sizes on those in the suffix there. Okay, and each FBX file will contain a uh, will produce a folder containing all the materials here. Let's take a look at the all one first. Okay, so in all you can see all the images are 4096, the dimension right there. We can just uh, control and scroll our mouse button. You can see here, here's we have five separate images. And if we double click on the diffuse map right here, you can see we've just basically merged everything. Clothing, accessories, uh, you can see the eyeball there, the, the skin, skin uh, textures and everything like that. We've combined it all into one single uh, 4096 4K image there. Okay, and just those five separate texture files, uh, normal, opacity, reflection, and specular maps there. And if we go to the by type item right here, you can see by type, now we have, if we just type in diffuse here in our search field, we can see we have the three separate diffuse maps. So this one here is for clothing. So all the types and into the clothing diffuse right there. All these are all the clothing uh, textures. And here is the accessories, so the, the helmet, the shield, and everything like that. And finally, this one is the uh, character's uh, skin mesh. Okay, see a little dirt on his knee and everything like that there. Okay, so that's by type. And if we go back to, uh, let's just close this down. If we go back to by item here, then notice we have a lot more options. So if we type in diffuse here, we're going to have individual texture maps for each individual item. So, you know, the uh, hapl haplomachus, <laughs> these words are terrible, uh, terribly difficult to pronounce. So, the, but they all have their own diffuse maps and therefore normal and specular and so on and so forth. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And notice that if I uh, go down here a little bit to details, we have each image at 1024 by 1024. Now, one final thing to keep in mind is when you export and you're merging the materials together, we're going to use an example all in uh, 4K here, you're going to get a pop-up window that basically tells you you're making changes to the UVs and you're not going to be, you're not, you're not going to be able to import that FBX back into Character Creator uh, due to the, basically the changes in UV. The UV maps won't be the same as the original. So just keep that in mind. As soon as you're merging the materials, you're going to lose that UV data. It's going to change and you're not going to be able to import in that same FBX file and expect the same results. Okay, so as a little summary here, uh, this is again the various levels of merging material. The all, you're gonna get that single diffuse map. Everything's gonna be merged into a single one, uh, recommended at 4K, and by type, you're going to get separate for the accessories, for the clothing, and for the character skin mesh. And finally, by item, each individual item on your character will get its own material. And there's various combinations for that, but just keep in mind that the further away you get from the camera, the lower resolution you'll require because you can't really see the character off in the distance that well. So you don't need like a super high 4K resolution when you're, you know, uh, 100 meters away from the character, for example. All right, so uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Make sure you check out our other uh, remesher tutorial that goes hand in hand with this one. And as well, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.